Hi guys, it's Lord Above All here again, and um, today I'm going to show you how to wire up something like a um, like a welder I've got sitting right there, or literally any other like something that requires a high amperage, heavy duty items, industrial items, something that does not require 13 amps. It requires something more. You have two choices. I had I had took the best choice, but my dad screwed it for me. Your best choice is buying one of these. Turn it right around for you. Uh, as you can see, it's just a simple socket and then a cooker switch. I don't know if you can see there. Yep, it says cooker off and on. Uh, you could scratch cooker around just right welder. This is basically what it should look like at the back. Two two earth terminals, one there, one there. Your feed, which is your power wire, and your load, which is your welder. Or literally any other item which requires that. The reason why I use this is a 45 amp switch. Um, it can handle it. And so can the socket. The socket's good for, like, if you're using a welder, such as my, my, uh, problem. Um, an angle grinder may be needed to clean up the weld. So rather than having another extension, you can still use this and it works perfect. That was my thing, and as you can tell by the condition, you must be thinking, what the fuck happened to this? Um, when my dad tripped over the wire and he kind of smashed the box, and it sits, the box is heavy duty, it's not going to break. And as you can notice, if you see inside, it says MK, everything I use is MK. Uh, it's just sits in here. Well, it doesn't really sit anymore because um, it's kind of broken now, but it just it would sit in a, in a surface box, like that. Uh, now, screw this idea. It's uh, finished. I haven't got another one. Um, there's a cheaper idea now. But you have to make sure it's quality. Otherwise, you have a problem. This, again, as you can see, is MK, but in this trunk that is resting on, if you've seen my other previous videos and things, you would have um, seen that this, this, this trunk contains plenty of electrical items, and um, in that, I found a junction box, and I'm just going to read what it says on the back, but I don't think you can see well, it. just says 32 amp ring circuit, just a junction, 3 terminal 250 volts, uh, cable capacity 4 millimeters squared max and 4 times 2.5 mm squared max. What that's literally saying is, saying wire like this, which is really thick, which is 2.5 mm, which is, um, I'm not, I think I'm correct, is uh, standardized now as 30 amp cable. It can handle 4 of these. Um, you never want to overload any one of these, you'll ruin them. You might, you have a chance of melting them as the terminals may get hot. So if I open this one for you, unlike any of my other tutorials, I will physically be installing the things as we go along. I've done most of the preparation though. And this, I have used this and it has been working, so I guarantee it's working. This is what it looks like. As you can see, there are two straight ones and then there's this curved one. In, her, in here you put an earth terminal, there's nothing marked, nothing's marked, you can choice it however you like, you can put any kind of connections in there, car, speakers, anything. Um, yeah, so, uh, you can just put your ring terminal, you can just put, uh, no, sorry, not ring terminals, you can, you have to put, what, how, the way I do it is because this I slanted, I kind of make it marked out for earth. Earth, live, neutral, or earth, live, neutral. It does live and neutral don't really matter, but I keep earth in the middle. There's that, and um, also on the other side, I'll be using MK Fuse socket. Quality, I, I, I am upgrading to the proper industrial plugs, but I'm low on funds. Um, yeah, the reason I've got the loose one here, and the proper one attached in the back, is because it was such a problem to put it in. When you got it in, it's alright, no problem. Uh, you also need a pair of pliers and a small flathead screwdriver. Um, it doesn't have to be insulated, this is not, um, it's not live. Uh, so, you want to have your cut and strip, your... Oh, sorry, one second. This, also, to, um, I forgot this. 
in this trunk also at the bottom of it I found one of those socket things that you find that's um like a trailing socket that you find on an extension lead but this is just a single one um if I put the cover plate on it just looks a bit like that it kind of looks like that I found it and uh, it's a good make it's a Dura plug which is alright uh, it can handle it it's alright no problem uh, you can run anything off this then so you uh basically my welder I kind of c cut the wire a bit and I just took it straight to the terminal so it doesn't dag drangle about and I took the excess wire and wired it to this so you can use this again as your angle grinder thing as I had with that cooker switch which I just chucked in the bin over there um, join me back in part two and um, we'll start installing everything <laughs>